Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing fine. Someone in my family circle requested a painted self-portrait of me. Of course, I am happy to fulfill this wish. However, I always struggle so much with that. Over the years, I have tried two or three times to paint myself and it never really worked. Not that this picture here is badly painted per se. For example, I like the hands very much. But I find that you would absolutely not recognize me if it wasn't for the hair. Something is just not right with the face. But additionally, I painted her dog, so if the painting should be a disappointment, there is at least still the dog. Okay, just pop it in because what you just saw is already old news. Of course, she updated the gallery wall twice since she originally filmed this. So I just wanted to show you the actual state and please excuse the bad lighting. At the moment, it doesn't really get bright here anymore at all, so I might as well just film. That is a postcard of one of my favorite watercolor paintings. The original is in the entrance hallway. These are by a fellow student. These two are older paintings of mine. This is a sentimental piece and this is a Polaroid I took a few years back in Aachen and the sticker on the mailbox has love letters only and yeah I really like that. Okay now you're updated, not that anyone really cares, but this is an ongoing project of mine. Yeah, You have to accept that it is going to be in my videos. Now we will varnish my favorite canvases. The two largest canvases here are approximately two and a half years old and I titled them Beauty and Chaos 1 and 2. Um, the painting of the man is one of my favorites still and I have exhibited a few times actually. However, I don't like the woman quite as much because the face is somehow out of perspective I would say. She tilts her head down Accordingly, the nose and mouth should actually be much closer together in perspective. And here, I didn't achieve it so well and that's why the face is a bit off. But I like them both in combination though. This one is from April 2018 and called Tea or Coffee. Because I couldn't figure out if this person would rather drink tea or coffee. And this one is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Story of a Hurricane. And the idea for the motive came spontaneously to me in the midst of a creative block when I saw a picture of fish in Alaska swimming in a circular formation. It's actually Sunday afternoon and I think I'm going to paint my first ever clay box I made. And yeah, kind of excited to do that. And I think I'm going to take you along. Yeah, this is my first ever little container. It's a little wonky. Yeah, as a beginner, I think round boxes are a bit easier because I had to attach every single side on its own and oh god, it was so much work. That yeah, was not easy and I think it's a bit too thick too. But yeah, whatever, it's my first one. Um, but I'm not quite sure what I want to paint on it because I don't know how forgiving painting on it is. I mean I'm going to paint with acrylics on it and when acrylics dry you can paint over them so yeah they are a forgiving medium you can say but I never painted on clay so I don't I'm not sure and the second thing is this little little tray with a nose. I'm going to paint a face in here. I've gone through my ugly sketchbook <laughs> in which I try to draw or paint without thinking too much about it because yeah this kind of working is very hard for me so this is the 
book where I can do that. Um, but I actually really like this person here and I think that she's going to fit in here. And for the box, maybe, maybe we can uh, go away. <laughs> we can use these shapes. What do you think? I mean, I'm probably already overthinking again, so I guess I should just do it. Ah, uh, but I'm not sure. Okay, so far so good. But I have to say, at this point, I don't like it. <laughs> Am I going to ruin it? Maybe. It's a possibility. I have to admit, I will be very disappointed if I mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it for the first time. But this, this thing here did cost me so many of my nerves. <laughs> it has to be good. It has to. Why again did I think that these shapes are going to be a good idea? But even if I think I am not going to like it in the end, it's always important to continue till you're done because sometimes you have to trust the process. Um, there were a lot of paintings or drawings where I was convinced in the midst of it that it's not going to be good and I'm not going to like it and that it's a waste of time to continue painting. But more often than not, I ended up liking it though, so yeah, <laughs> we shall see. Do we like it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on. I guess I will like it better if, if this is all black. And I kind of want to include a little smiley in here on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know why. But when you open it, it will smile at you. It's kind of cool. But how am I supposed to draw a, see my geometric circle in here? It's so small. And I also don't know if I should paint it with a brush and color because that will make it way harder. Um, or if I should use some kind of fine liner. I think I will go with the fine liner. I have this one chance. Why again do I want a smiley in here? <laughs> I mean, it's okay if it's a little wonky. Shit. <laughs> oh god, what is that? His head. Oh, this, this is too straight. Uh, yeah, I think I have to live with that now, but you are going to open it and it smiles at you. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, look at this. I think it's not completely dry, but after that I'm going to varnish it. But in the meantime, we can paint our little face in here. Do we like it? I'm not sure. Maybe some red cheeks, ooh, no. Maybe some red cheeks. Let's see. Maybe, okay, it's dry already. So maybe I can paint with blue. Oh, I love this color. This blue turned out very beautiful. Purple blue shades are my favorite color. Okay, yes, the nose is way too heavy for this. And I think the composition of the eyes and the mouth all in one is not ideal. Uh, yeah, but anyways.
Yeah, I know that was a poor transition, but these are my finished clay things and I think this purple blue shade is so so beautiful. Everything is also a little wonky, but that's totally fine. And this thing here is a holder for used brushes. The idea for this painting came to me very spontaneously. Have you ever experienced this feeling when some emotions become very heavy and you can really feel them physically in your chest? I mean, you probably do. That's the feeling I try to portray here and I really let a lot of emotion flow into it and therefore it also means a lot to me. I wouldn't have expected that when I started painting. And by the way, it is painted on a Dean A5 large wood panel. This is kind of random, but I stumbled across a few years old poem of mine and I don't write often and haven't written anything in a while. I've also never sat down and said, now I'm going to write something. Sometimes a thought just came up to me unexpectedly and I thought, okay, I have to write that down. And so I developed those little snippets into poems, but I won't consider myself a writer. Um, but my favorite poem is called Poetry About Human Gardens and I would like to read it to you. And since I developed this habit as a child, I always write the date on everything. Um, so I know that this poem is from Monday, 10th July 2017. <laughs> um, yeah, so. When I walked down the street, passing by the small front gardens, I wondered which kind of garden I would be if all humans were gardens. I think I would be the small, charming garden at the end of the street, with the crooked old fence and the messy grass, just as messy as my hair. I would be bright and colorful, and even if the colors wouldn't match, I would be lovable and attracting in an unexplainable way. Wildflowers would grow through the fence, always with their face towards the sun. The uneven grass would be softly speckled with daisies, proving that even the smallest things can carry so much beauty. I would offer a warm and safe place to everyone who knows how to appreciate and how to treat me. Everyone who once found coziness in my embrace won't ever forget. And there would be this huge, majestic bush of hortensia, standing in the light, beautifully tragic, in its purple-blue dress, keeping many secrets and completing this whole kind of a character. This painting was a commissioned work. Of course, I asked permission from the person who commissioned the painting to show it here in this video. And she was very happy about the picture and that makes me even happier because I find it's always a great sign of trust in me and my skills when someone gives me a commission and is even willing to pay money for it. Um, Oh yeah, and I also had a second commission this month for a digital illustration. And when someone buys one of my prints, for example, I always add postcards and stickers as a thank you. 
but since a commission is much more time consuming for me and therefore also more expensive for the person who commissioned me, I also added a print for them. Look what we've got. Little unpacking ASMR. Ta da! I've got them remade. I've already printed them in the past, but I wanted to, to have some in stock. Um, so these are all the same. But this is my favorite illustration for these cups and I'm always happy to have them here for purchases or as gifts. Um, yep, so that's great. So if you're still watching, I'm so happy that you spent your time with me and also hope to see you in my next one. Have a nice rest of your day or evening and goodbye.